Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, which we're playing right now is Klamath. Um, uh, just to let you know, they do have a generic focus tree, but we've got quite a few different mods installed to make it a little more interesting. Um, we're also led by the elites. We've got Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, Stage Master Tool Mod. We've got Old World Blues Tech Expansion, Old World Blues Generic Decisions Expanded, I think. And that might be it. Or Old World, and Old World Blues for the little guys. But we're led by Slim Pickett. Born and raised in Klamath, Slim Pickett has seen all the good and bad Klamath has to offer. An experienced trapper and half-decent shot, Slim is the de facto leader of Trapper Town. As meticulous planning has led to Klamath making good use of its seemingly infinite gecko supply, providing cheap alternatives to ramen meat for those that can't quite afford the Baron's steep prices. Not bad. We have Gecko Abundance. Klamath earns enough money from trapping and skinning the near-infinite supply of geckos to ensure the settlement thrives and survives. Some f f poor fools still fall victim to them, however. We're professional trappers. While well, Klamath's residents are best equipped for trapping geckos, if push comes to shove, uh, they could conceivably use their skills for other means. If the trap can kill a gecko, you don't want to imagine what it can do to some poor raider's leg. And we've got all sorts of things here too, so. Our objective, my, our initial goal is uh, for us to survive, but we've got a lot of trapping going on, and we can make money out of this, so. And we're going pretty defensive, we're going conventional warfare. Um, so we're doing what we can, we're doing pretty well actually right now. We've lost 22 guys versus 2200 against the den. They declared war on us, and they have their ally, Modoc. Um, at this point, I think we can maybe go on the offensive, which I think would be lovely to do. Um, so we'll see. And before we go too far, uh, of course, we have no manpower. 20 combo with infantry, going down conventional warfare. 20 combo with special forces, and with a pretty full slot of uh, uh, um, support companies. It is pretty good, I think, overall. At this point, we're starting to move out, which is good, 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 good. Beat the crap out of the den and a Modoc. <clears throat> and, and I do want to encourage them to continue attacking us as well, don't get me wrong. And so we've got all sorts of decisions here. We've got science points we can deal with. We've got laboratories we can build. Um, so everything here, pretty much what we can do. We get science points, 30 now, which is pretty good. 695 is not bad. Um, can we build more labs? We need more money for that. Morality versus scientists, not quite. We could do technological breakthrough. You know, let's try it once. We've accumulated a lot of science points, and now I can do a technological breakthrough in one area. We can choose which area will be, it'll be, and a couple research points to go to it. Um, robots motorized, infantry. Let's go with land auction, maybe. Now I'll get two 75% research points for land auction. Hey, that's great. We can expand this and get some of the stuff here. We can sell some researchers for money, which isn't bad. Get more army XP, which is pretty nice, too. Um, but yeah. I love that all the stuff we can do. We can lose, lower our stability, which actually I've already done this campaign. We get more war support, which I do like. So we're going to choose that one. Um, and we'll get some more stability later on, too. I do want to build more labs, but we need more cities. Hey, we actually won that tile there. Look at that. Uh, are they at war with someone else now, too, or something? Or... Oh, the Chimera has war goals against them. Ooh. Well, we better go in fast. Yep. As long as we can take the den. O'Brien is an economic. Where's O'Brien? Destruction route. Mount Rushmore, nice. And the, oh, Vault City. Wow. Um, let's do explore the police stations, because that could help us with our resistance and whatnot too. There you go. Special forces breakthrough, whatnot. Um Oh, they took that tile over. we do that? That'll really make him angry at us. I'm not sure we can handle all this, though. At least we won. That's good. Got a little bit of caps. That's nice. A few more military factories. Are we missing anything? Spec Ops and Motorized. Isn't Vault City is still a trade node? Yes, it is. Is O'Brien? Where's O'Brien? Um, I have a feeling they might start demanding territory from us. There's no way in the world that we can actually hold them off. We will probably need to go to war with the Troll War as well. They'll probably should come try to beat us up. So I might want to get on top of that before they get extremely strong, because they're already pretty, probably pretty darn strong. Um, so, yeah. The Troll War are going to be probably an issue for us. As well as these guys down here. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. 
Welcome back to 2280, everybody, where we're at war with the Kamarin Kami Kami Consensus and Vault City. And uh, they've actually, the Guardians have just gone to war with them, so we lost a lot of guys, and they've lost a lot too, so. Uh, but we've actually been, we actually have a little bit of manpower finally. We're mobilizing all the way to four year conscription. We've actually cored Doris, we've cored the Den, and these guys are on a different war now. So we're going to go in and hopefully beat the crap out of them as best we possibly can. Um, you, you should probably help out here instead, so. Uh, in terms of land doctrine, we're doing very well. We've already gone down asymmetric warfare. We started researching that too. Um, got some recon going, which would be very nice. Got some more recon support unit stuff. We're done with all this stuff already in the first episode, but are you really surprised on that? Um, so with them on a two-front war, that is absolutely going to help. Oh, three-front war. The Thunderbirds are there too. Very nice. The Wastelands of Fortress. And we're pretty much done with our focuses for now. Uh, I don't think there's very much else we can do here. I, mean, I guess we could do this one. Light naval hold. But... With uh, Oro Blue's uh, generic decisions expanded, can we embrace the tribal way of life? I guess we need less stability for that. That might be worth it, but honestly, you lose a lot of weight. stability, though. Oh, good God! So, but we can still take up all that political power that we use um, or we don't use. Uh, we can go with this one, forging, which makes sense for us. I mean, we're forgers, we're survivalists, we're gecko trappers, we're human. So let's see. We got 91%, which is great. We'll split up a lot of things between us and the Thunderbirds and the Guardians, but we'll see what happens. We're doing all right, really. Could be doing better, of course. Don't get me wrong. But we're doing all right. Um, so now we're just going to push, 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 and take Nurina if we possibly can. That'd be fantastic. Get the crap out of them, please. And you stop moving. You're doing it wrong. I can't believe we actually have manpower. Thank goodness. Oof. Oh, and happy November, everybody. Happy November. What do we got here? Uh, sure. There you go. I'll beat the snikes out of them. That would be ideal. Also, we are trying to get, uh, we got one working lab. We can sell our researches. You know what? Might as well have more money. Try to increase our power. Help settlements out. Uh, cultural assimilation would be bad. Maybe some of this stuff later. Fight for glory. Propaganda campaign. We're lowering our stability from our war support, which is not bad. Um, we're trying to do the th Threads of Life, the choice. We'll read about two. Makes it a little more interesting as well for us. So, let's go in, please. Just go in. We're at 88%. Not great. Bolt City will die, though, which is good, good, good. And then maybe we'll go to war with the even bigger Troll Warren. But we'll see. Now, this is going to put us in a really tough predicament against the Thunderbirds and the Guardians once this war is over, I bet. So. Uh, let's see. Hey, good. Very nice. Quite ideal so far. Oop. Oop, oop, oop. We have five spe spec ops divisions too, which is pretty decent. Oop. Oop. And you know what? Expert Hills Fighter and maybe a Forester next for this guy. We'll see. A week left, not bad. We actually have got a lot more manpower now, which is actually kind of crazy to think. Um, I want to take all of the Chimera Consensus. As much as we possibly can. I want Vault City 2, but we might be at war with the Guardians. Um, so... I'm going to leave these guys alone for now. Emergency Soul Enter. That's fine. Hopefully these guys won't be attacking us, and we can actually focus on these guys, and then we'll focus down south. Uh, 19 Divisions... One, two, three, four, five, six tiles. One, two, uh, one, two, three, six, seven. So 19 will go here. These five will go here for now. It was not ideal, but it's what we got. Uh, we could definitely use more spec ops divisions. Uh, no, no, we won't listen to you. Good. Oh, the third's life, the choice. I've not read this one in a long time. I'm sure I've read it before, though. The surrounding life has always amazed our scientists. Even after 200 years from the nuclear holocaust, the wild life is somewhat alive and is even adapted to the new world. From time to time, you can see little geckos running around, mole rats on the search for food, or rad scorpions waiting in ambushes to attack their prey. They say that life here is blooming, considering we live in a destroyed world. Many of our scientists are already doing some independent research on the wildlife out of sheer curiosity. It's already been a fruitful endeavor. Maybe it would be good use, uh, good to organize a full research project on understanding life around us. Of course, some of our scientists argue that we should focus on ourselves instead, even 200 years later. Humans, in one form or another, adapted to the new world, but the emergence of ghouls and supermutants made it clear that simply being human is not simply enough anymore. In the world, you need to evolve and adapt. And you want to live another day, but to evolve to the wasteland naturally, we'd have to wait for centuries. Instead, we can speed up the process by ourselves, using our scientists to look for a way to achieve human superiority. 
Humanity needs to understand the world around it. Abandon the way of reaching human supremacy and begin a way of understanding life around us. I'll go with that route. Let's see what happens with that one. So we have nuclear mastery. We've got thinking metal. Um, so I guess we'll have to wait and see for that one. We could get another research slot instead. But since we have five already, I, I mean, I don't want to lose these labs. We do not get them back. Another research slot would be kind of OP, though. But we can keep, continue going this way. Probably continue going that way. We've got six working labs for now. Uh, we can build more labs. We need more money. Um, so, it is what it is. We can get more science points, but that's alright, too. Uh, let's take a second here to see what happens. Economic resurgence. How fantastic. We actually can make some more money. Begin route to... Ooh. Vault City, yes please. And this one, and Guardians of Adele. We're gonna do them all, why not? Level 10, trade node, please say yes. That is a fantastico. Now, are you guys gonna justify on us? Let's see, is it Volunteers of the Guardians? Supporting Klamath, yeah. Yeah, we'll see, and then we're gonna increase our political power. We could increase our resistance, and you know what, we probably will. Let's go and grab this one. And it's gonna hurt resist our resistance target by quite a bit. That's alright. I'm creating an intelligence agency too. Ansel Lendlease. It's fine. Are we missing anything here? Not really. 25 military factories? Well, we have 21. Now we're good. We don't need those people anyways right now. So that's fine. Infantry armor, we're doing okay. Uh, yeah, we're doing alright. We still have a positive amount, which is good. We get almost four political power a day, which is insane. Um, we could do that one more. 25 days. Only gets some increases. Lose attack and defense. Military leader cost goes up. More army XP is probably not worth it, but we'll do it anyways. Because why not? Because we can't. Oh, look at that money. Yes, please. Oh, hello. Oh, the guardians are back up here. But there's no one up here, so it doesn't even matter. So I would say let's go to war with the guardians next, and then we'll go to war with the Thunderbirds, and we'll call it. Call it. It's not bad. Maybe. We're looking pretty long. Uh, resistance is probably going up, yeah. Compliance is going up too, which is pretty good too. 80s are at war with the White Legs and uh, Crazy Horns. Yeah. Plastic fibers are good. Uh, common weaponry, why not? That looks pretty good to me. Uh, but other than that, yeah. You know what, we might just end it here and then maybe we'll start the next episode going to war with these guys or maybe even uh, reading about uh, nuclear mastery. So, uh, in the meantime, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we see what else we can do with. Uh, Klamath, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.